This sounds very sci-fi. You're talking about cybernetically enhancing human beings. What did you see? Well, you know, I mean, the, in one sense, it's sort of Elon as, as usual, and then, you know, in this other sense, it's, it's something pretty incredible. There's been a lot of research in, in this area for a long time, uh, largely in, in university labs, and so the biggest thing that, that struck me is now you see this startup that's backed by 150 million something dollars inventing um, new machines and new technology in this area and really trying to push the state of the art forward quite dramatically. And you, know, you mentioned the company's only been around since 2017 and so the fact that they already have these devices and, and papers that they're unveiling seem pretty impressive. It's one thing to bore holes into the ground, which is what he does with Boring Company, now potentially looking for volunteers to bore tiny little holes into their skulls. Uh, how far are they from uh, potentially getting the approval to do that? Well, you know, they're claiming that um, they would like to start human trials next year. I mean, the first batch of people that do this are not going to be typical consumers, it's going to be people who have been paralyzed and really have no other options. And, and so, you know, according to Neuralink, they want to start these trials near the end of next year. The big issue, of course, is, is the FDA and, and whether they would approve something like this. Neuralink has a really high bar in that, you know, at the moment they're just inserting these electrodes. They still have to prove that there's a, a therapeutic use to this and, and that they're safe over the long haul. And so um, even though they claim they might start these trials next year, I think we're many years away from uh, seeing this it just being a regular technology. Actually, I'm not a doctor or anything, but if you insert foreign objects into your body, doesn't your body react, form scar tissues and so forth? So how is Elon Musk trying to do this? Yeah, I mean, that's been the big issue with these types of, of implants. So the, the existing state-of-the-art thing is about the size of my fist. It has these very rigid needles that, that go in the brain, and it turns out, you know, obviously with the surgery itself, that original implanting, there's trauma to the brain. Your brain moves a lot as you breathe, as your heart beats, and so it's pushing back and forth on these needles. And this has been the huge problem, is that you get st scar tissue and, and your body re reacts to it. So what Neuralink has done, Instead of using these, these relatively big, rigid needles, they've created these, these, they call them threads. They're essentially wires with electrodes on them. They're about a, a quarter of the thickness of a human hair. And they've developed a technique where they can put this very thin object and insert it into the brain using a, a robot that has these needles at the end of it. And, and so it's this technique that they've developed with the robot and it's, it's this, these, this materials advances with these thin threads that's making this possible. And so they claim they can use computer vision and these lenses on this robot to, to see all the veins in your, your skull and actually dodge them as they put these threads in. Okay, let's move away from the imagery of, of tiny threads moving through my brain and just talk about whether this is a contradiction uh, on the part of Elon Musk, who once called AI more dangerous than nuclear weapons, and now here he wants to merge brains to AI. Yeah, I mean, this is a hard one to get your head around. You, uh, you know, besides Neuralink, he's also funded OpenAI, an, an AI company in the past, and, and Tesla is obviously pushing its autopilot technology and AI software really dramatically, and then, um, and then you have this thing coming along. I mean, the way Elon pitched it at the event last night was, AI is probably going to get really good. It, it could either be a benign technology or it could be an evil technology. In either way, humans will probably want to keep up with the machines. Uh, and this, is, this is a chance to keep up with the machines where you sort of, you, you become a hybrid type creature. And he said, you know, in the future, people, people are going to have to make this choice. Do you want to keep up with the machines or do you want to stay the way you are? And so I guess that's how he rationalizes it in his head is that, um, <laughs> This is giving humans a fighting chance, but, but it is, it's a hard one to square for sure.